This video explains how you can provide your customer with an immediate access to track and trace for an individual order. You can set up a screen on your own website with your own logo, your own verbiage around the entire screen. And all your customer has to do is put in their customer ID that is in your system. In this case, I have my customer set up as Fiat IP for Fiat Indiana plant. And then they would put their order number in. If your customer just does this once, the system will remember their name and all they have to do is select it from the drop down. And then they put their order number in. When they click track, it's going to open up track and trace for that one individual order. They can see the status of each stop. So in this case, I have a single pickup and drop. It tells the, uh, the date and time, whether it was actual or scheduled. So actual mean that the trip is actually done that. And it shows their actual arrival, depart time, the location, the distance the weight, the status of that particular stop, then the delivery. You can also put your own branding message on the track and trace. If the customer wants to see more details about the pickup and drop, they can click the little triangle there. It will open the, the details about all the bill of ladings on that particular stop. In this case, there's only one bill of lading. So they can see the bill of lading, the pieces, the way to the mansions, if, whether it's stackable or not. If the uh, trip has a POD, the POD would appear there. And uh, at the top, it also shows the last known location of the vehicle, which they can click on that last known location, and then they can see where that particular truck was at that point in time. The track and trace is very simple to use. Again, all they have to do is put in their customer ID and the order number, click track, and it's there. When you set up your customers, try to give them a name that's really easy for them to remember, like their name. And that's all they have to type in and then their order number. Why do we do this? Well, if we didn't have the customer number and you just had to put an order number in, your customer could cycle through order numbers and find other people's information. So this means they're only going to see their information. None of your other customers' data will appear. So it secures the ability for you to show your customer just the loads that you are doing for them.